This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center. Your stem cells, your health, your life. And we're back. You know, I did, we were talking about Hollywood, but the only thing going through my head is, do you know the way to San Jose? I don't know if you know that song about... And know. what has that got to do with Hollywood? <laughs> I, well, because, you know, all of those people that go there expecting to be stars in a week and... Yeah, you know, I mean, you know the song? Yeah, I do. Stars that never were are parking cars and pumping gas. Yeah, do you know. You know. And, they're, and they still are working on things, you know. Which, and all this has totally nothing to do with our next story. Except <laughs> one of thing. the guys, except one of the guys, one of the actors that I met, Don Reed, who used to be in Dynasty and all kinds of mm -hmm. stuff. Marsha's crush, the dentist. So we're visiting, and he uh, loves history and history of the West. And I told him I was on the Gunslinger series, and he was like, wow, you know, he was all excited about that. And we get to talking about Buffalo Bill. He said, Buffalo Bill's my great, great uncle. <laughs> oh, I said, you're kidding. So I'm sending Don, Don, this stuff is on the way, all this information about his great, great uncle that he didn't know. And I'm like, being Buffalo Bill's press agent, you know, <laughs> I was spreading the word. But you know, before Buffalo Bill was here, before Buffalo Bill's out fighting with the Indians, we've got a lot of tribes in Kansas that are actually fighting each other. And that's what this first segment is about. It's about the relationship between the Kaw or the Kansa and the Pawnee. And I think this stuff is pretty cool. Let's see so, what you think. It took us a long while, a long time to get there, but around and around and story. around. <laughs> On his way west in 1842, explorer John C. Fremont encountered a cluster of burned and blackened lodges scattered along the east bank of the Vermilion River. The destruction was evidence of a long and often bloody war between the Pawnee and the Kaw or Kansas. The Kansas State Historical Society posted the account online at Kansapedia, a treasure trove of history on the web. The village observed by Fremont was situated near present-day Bellevue, the abandoned Kansas village had been attacked and burned earlier that spring by the Pawnees. The burning of the village was in retaliation for a massacre of Pawnees perpetrated by Kansas warriors in December 1840. Sixty-five Kansas warriors had surprised a Pawnee camp whose warriors had left on a buffalo hunt. The Kansas killed more than 70 people, mostly women and children, and captured 11. The two tribes had been enemies longer than anyone could remember. From the 1500s, if not earlier, the Pawnees had lived and hunted in present-day Nebraska and Kansas. By 1700, the Kansas had emigrated from the Ohio River Valley and established a village on the west bank of the Missouri River in present Donovan County. By 1840, the Kansas were living in three villages, the Vermilion River Village and two others near present-day Topeka. The Pawnees were the dominant power of the Central Plains by the 1800s. Their hunting grounds covered much of the High Plains, and this meant conflict with almost every other Plains tribe, including the Kansas. The arrival of Euro-Americans brought the fur trade to the Plains, and competition between the tribes for the harvest of pelts became fierce. By the late 1700s, Pawnee and Kansas warriors had become expert horsemen and were better able to travel long distances to raid each other. Most of these raids were essentially horse-stealing expeditions, but some escalated into violent encounters. The U.S. government frequently attempted to arrange truces between the Pawnees and the Kansas, but these efforts met with little success. In 1830, pressure from the Kansas and their Osage allies forced the one band to, ava to abandon its village in present Republic County and to rejoin the other Pawnee bands to the north in the Platte River Valley. By the 1870s, however, both the Pawnees and the Kansas were reeling from poverty, disease, and the loss of their lands. In June 1872, a large band of Pawnees traveled from their Nebraska reservation to smoke the pipe with the Kansas on their Council Grove reservation. The week-long celebration concluded with an exchange of gifts and expressions of goodwill between the ancient enemies. At long last, the Pawnees and the Kansas were at peace.
KFRM is one of the largest farm radio stations in the nation, dedicated to informing and entertaining rural listeners from northern Oklahoma to southwestern Nebraska. You can catch KFRM in many ways. Of course, 550 on the AM dial, streaming at KFRM.com, or on your smartphone by going to the TuneIn Radio app, or on Ag AM in Kansas on Tuesdays, and Facebook every day of the week. KFRM, tune us in. You'll be glad you did.